The Florida Botanical Gardens is a local retreat filled with lush foliage, vibrant blooms and nature inspired art. Inside Pinellas reporter Carla Mitchell takes us to the gardens and discovers a local artist and Pinellas County volunteer that's as inspiring as the works she creates. Heather Anderson is no stranger to a challenge and she takes on any challenge in a very big way. Um, I'd never painted anything that large before and so that was quite challenging to not only be up eight feet high but to be 10 feet by four feet. Nestled within Pinellas County is an oasis from the hustle and bustle of daily life, a place of beauty and serenity located just off Almonton Road, the Florida Botanical Gardens. It is here that I met up with local artist and Pinellas County volunteer Heather Anderson to discuss her incredible journey from finance to fine arts. I have a degree in finance from Gonzaga University in Spokane, Washington, and I have a degree in computer science from Eastern Washington University. And then um, when, as I moved around, I've been involved in real estate, um, interior and exterior design, and so I really loved that. And um, when I ended up in New York City, I went to the New York School of Interior Design and studied interior design professionally there, and then I decided to become an artist because I couldn't draw anything, so I took drawing for the absolute and utter beginner in 1994, and I had never drawn a thing in my life, and so I started drawing, and uh, I had a great class and then I started taking a painting class from every school in New York City and finally decided the only way to really learn how to paint was to paint seven hours a day, five days a week and have it be a profession and so that's what I started doing. Heather, born in Canada, grew up in Washington State, lived in Chicago, then Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, and then back to Chicago. Oh, it's hard for me to be still. <laughs> when Heather moved to Pinellas County in 2010, she became a county volunteer at the Florida Botanical Gardens in less than a week after her arrival. I decided to be a volunteer because I really believe in giving back to the community. I've had a very blessed life and I really like to help and give back. And I've always been in love with botanical gardens and every place I travel to I go see botanical gardens. For years, residents and visitors have come here to enjoy the sights and sounds of a lush tropical garden. However, due to recent economic challenges, the wedding garden fountains have been silenced and the once tranquil pools drained. It cost the county lots of time and money to maintain them. So they did shut them down and they did board it up with the hope that in the future they would turn the fountains back on when they could afford to do that. So once again, Heather took on a new challenge and once again, in a very big way. I saw those boarded up fountains and thought, oh, a glass mosaic that would look like fish and lilies and frogs and it would just reflect the sunlight on it. It would look really beautiful there. And so I thought, well, I guess I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this now. I've never done a mosaic before. And so the Fountains to Mosaics project blossomed in late 2010. Heather began to create the Aquatic Reflections glass mosaic with the help of an amazing team of county volunteers. 84 two by four foot panels, a total of 170 feet of glass mosaics were constructed working three and a half months, three hours a day, three days a week. And they've just been the best volunteers anybody could ever ask for. Heather's energy and enthusiasm to create natured inspired works of art is infectious and a testament to how Heather takes on life. Oh, I'm always tackling projects that I, I are new for me as an artist. I move every three years, and so I'm always starting a new project that I haven't done before or had any experience in, and that's the fun and excitement of problem solving and figuring out how to put all the pieces together. And speaking of pieces, Heather continued her creative journey with Glass Mosaics with a local group of 9- to 13-year-old artists at the Martin Luther King Jr. Community Center in Clearwater. So we had buckets and buckets of leftover glass. I had a neighbor asked if I would talk to the kids at the Martin Luther King Community Center in Clearwater about what it's like to be an artist, and I thought, well, that would be boring for the kids that were 9 to 13 years old. So I asked the teachers if I could bring glass in and if they could make some glass mosaics because I'd been asked to do something on another wall at the Florida Botanical Gardens. Heather once again took on a new artistic endeavor, 
but this time challenged local youth to create something beautiful in a new way, using nature as their model. The children's finished glass mosaic tiles gave birth to the We Have a Dream wall that now stands in the Palm Garden. So this was a great opportunity that I got to create some beautiful artwork for the Florida Botanical Gardens. So it's definitely a win-win situation for everyone. I think I'm winning more than they are because I get to create all this stuff and have all this fun. And I've got to meet all these wonderful volunteers. And I too had the opportunity to meet a wonderfully creative, high-spirited county volunteer, Heather Anderson. From Largo, I'm Carla Mitchell for Inside Pinellas. Thanks, Carla. Contractors are installing the remaining mosaic panels using preservation techniques to protect them for many years to come. The Florida Botanical Gardens Foundation and other contributors provided funds and materials for the project. A formal unveiling and dedication of the Aquatic Reflections Mosaic is being planned for November during the Holiday Lights Preview Event. For more information about the Florida Botanical Gardens, visit flbg.org. And again, if you'd like to become a volunteer in Pinellas, better known as a VIP, we'd like to hear from you. Visit Volunteer Services website at pinellascounty.org slash volunteer. VIPs are very important people, helping their community be the best it can be. Again, visit pinellascounty.org slash volunteer and browse the opportunities available to you. Or call Volunteer Services at 464-VIPS. That's 464-8477. Expect to make a difference. If you'd like to learn more about Pinellas County and county services, there are several ways you can. Log on to our website at PinellasCounty.org, or you can follow us on Twitter at Pinellas CO News, or on Facebook at Pinellas County Government, and visit our YouTube site at youtube.com slash PCCTV1.